Jane McDonald, and I've spent my life sailing the globe. It's fantastic. I love it. 25 years ago, I started my travelling career as a singer on the cruise ships, and now I've swapped my dressing room for a stateroom as I carry on cruising as a passenger. Oh, the sweets. <laughs> I've learned so much. How do you feel? Um, surprisingly OK. I've visited some amazing places. Looking for tarantulas. Oh, why? Because we're why here. Why would you look for a tarantula? So now I want to share all my travel tips with you. Oh, yeah, that's telling me where I am. I'm very impressed with that. All you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. We are sailing. This time, I'm on the second leg of my cruise sailing up the Thames to celebrate two of my best friend's 70th birthdays. Oh, oh wow. hello. Look at, oh, oh look, at look at houseboat, you see. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I think I could live on a houseboat. Oh, I could. We wanted to holiday together in the UK, so we clubbed together and booked a private river cruiser. Cheers. 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 Oh, here we go. Up the here. river. <laughs> It's a gentle, relaxing trip where we can enjoy the English countryside and soak up some history. Right, the most important thing is, to is hit it's it. not going to bounce. So it doesn't bounce? Oh, I told you it didn't bounce. We don't got bounce. Balls. Oh, I'm with you. The Thames is one of Britain's most famous rivers, meandering its way for 215 miles from the Cotswolds to the coast. I always thought of the Thames as the famous bit round London, but we're discovering there's so much more to see from our river cruiser. Ooh, that were a close shave. It's that. a good job we sat down. You know I'm thinking that's not low. We set sail in the middle of autumn to coincide with the girls' 70th birthdays but it's also the perfect time of year to enjoy the leaves changing colour. Hiya! Nice to see you. Sorry, you see, I'm waving to folk. Ah, people friendly on the river. Our crew started from Hampton Court after a fascinating trip around the palace. I can't believe, you know, we're in the hall and the home of one of the most tyrannical kings who just deleted the wife. <laughs> just deleted, just like... Always the one. Yeah. <laughs> And then up through Shepperton Lock and on to Windsor, where we followed in the steps of royalty. This is the heart of Windsor. Really? This was Church Street. This is where the royals used to come out of the castle once a week to go to church. Plus, we've never stopped eating. That is gorgeous. Or drinking. And there's still more to come. We're on board a four-berth river cruiser that started life as a working Belgian cargo barge 83 years ago. The boat has been lovingly transformed into a floating hotel by Captain Dominic and his son, Oliver. <laughs> well, I didn't expect this. I thought it would be a bunk or a hammock. And every bit of space has certainly been utilised. And look at this, Jay. Always very excited about this. <gasps> it's a wardrobe. Oh, you've got a secret a little wardrobe. Tiny wardrobe, yeah. It has four ensuite cabins on the lower deck, with two doubles at the front and a twin and double at the rear. All cabins lead up to the main living room, which leads to an outside seating area at the front and kitchen and wheelhouse at the back. It's the morning of our third day and we're waking up at our mooring, right below Windsor Castle in the heart of the town. Good morning. Come in, my lovely. Breakfast, please. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, you haven't got a cup of tea, have you? Oh, I'll go and uh, get you one. Oh, do you mind? That'd be smashing. Thank you so much. I'm stopping in my cabin for now, as I'm not quite ready for my close-up. But the birthday girls are up, dressed and tucking into the spread. A river cruise like this is a great way to see the nooks and crannies of England that you wouldn't normally see from the roads. I can't believe that we're only 20 minutes from Heathrow Airport and just a few minutes' walk from the centre of town. It's so quiet and peaceful here. Even the swans are on mute. 
And while I get me brew, we're pulling up the gangplank and setting sail. Today we're travelling from Windsor Castle, stopping at the Waterside Inn at Bray for lunch, and then on to Cliveden for our overnight stop. Our river cruiser is the biggest boat this side of the Thames, which means that it can't always park up on a mooring if the water is too shallow. That's the case today, as we set off for a birthday lunch treat for the girls, so the crew have arranged for us to transfer to a smaller boat. It's like being in Venice. Well, we don't have a gondola, but we do have a little 1960s motorboat called the Fringilla. She's owned by our skipper, Will's family, who've been working on the Thames for the past 30 years. A lovely way to commute to our restaurant. And what a way to arrive. I oh, know. Oh, come on, you know. You do feel, cos I know we're in Windsor and it's on the Thames, and but we actually do feel a bit like royalty yeah. on here, don't we? It's very, it's posh, isn't it? Very it's what posh. we call posh up north. Very, very posh. posh. They call it posh everywhere, so. We are just about to eat in a three-star Michelin restaurant and there are only five in the UK. Assistant Manager Dean is waiting to greet us. Hello there. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the Waterside Inn. Table awaits. Thank you very much. Please. This lunch isn't included in our cruise, but the crew often suggest different places to eat or drink along the way if you fancy a change of scene. I know, I've heard all about this place. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Find out. The restaurant was opened 48 years ago by the late chef patron Michel Roux, who I met on the cruises, and has now passed it on to his son, Alain. The whole of the Roux family are like a cooking dynasty. What they don't know about French cuisine is not worth knowing. A little bites from the chef to start lunch. Thank we've you. Got a, a pork terrine, and then we've got a little snail and duck barbouchan with parsley. I'm just going to have one of each because I'm sure they're going to be gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, that little one, Sue's a bit like a pork pie. <laughs> a little yeah. mustard on top as well. Oh, you see that? This little pork terrine here, it's got all the ingredients of a really good pork pie because it's got pork and bits of bit there, a bit of jelly, a bit of that. So I think that's a pork pie. <laughs> I'm just going to go. And now for the snail. I can't pronounce what I'm eating, but it does taste posh. <laughs> to be honest, I could just eat a whole tray of pork pie and snail volivants. Oh, I've got Jane on mine. <laughs> oh, I've got Alwyn on mine. That's good. The main restaurant is next door overlooking the Thames but we've asked to sit in the private dining room for a special reason. Isn't it true, though, that the Queen has been in this room? The Queen royalty? Yes, yeah, that's that right here. Yeah. Bet she don't come in a puffer jacket, do you? <laughs> well, I didn't like to say it, so, no, but... No. <laughs> like a plain or rye flour, Royal Madam? Uh, the most healthy. Mm. Right, thank you. It's your fault now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally on the big cruise ships meeting new friends, but this trip has been all about quality time with some old ones. You know, every so often in our lives, we have a moment, don't we, that we want to remember forever. And I never thought in a million years I would be sat here on your two birthdays. Mm. I'm going. Don't stop. <laughs> and this is what it's all about. It's all about making memories. And it's all about having the people that you love around you. And I'm so thrilled. So thrilled I've that you're here. <laughs> so, here's to friendship. Here's to friendship. Friendship. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. That's all done. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, where's that food? So, Jane, mm -hmm. I served you a roasted loin of venison, yes. which is wrapped in a puff pastry, Wellington style, and it's served with a sweet 
some seasonal wild mushroom, mainly Girol at the moment, mm -hmm. Hermitage wine sauce with uh, some little uh, black carrots. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I will. I'll bring you more sauce. Oh, I love all this saucy Thanks. talk, Alan. I do like my gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes, there are more than 25 chefs working in the kitchens, trained under Alain's watchful eye. But this isn't the only three Michelin star restaurant in town. Fellow chef Patron Heston Blumenthal is just a few doors down, and he has three Michelin stars too. Oh. <laughs> Must be something in the water around here. That's the, the naughty plate of the house, so ah. I'm glad you've chosen that. Mm -mm. That's chestnut. Mm. And it actually tastes like Bailey's. But all good things must come to an end. An and it's time day. to head back to the river. Thank you so much. See you soon in Brayonte. I certainly hope so. Thank Mwah. you, Jane. Au revoir. Take care. Bon voyage. Bye. Merci. Bye-bye. Oh, la la, look at me getting into the lingo. I'm just glad we don't have to worry about getting back to the river cruiser. Coming up, it's bubble trouble as we get steamy in the hot tub. We need a drink! Oh, wow. And we are spellbound by the magical atmosphere at the Cliveden Estate. Wow. Fancy doing with the person that did all this, though. I'm on a UK cruise sailing up the Thames in the middle of autumn. It's a special time as my two girlfriends celebrate their 70th birthdays. Along with our mate Neil, we're all a bit giddy after our boozy lunch back in Bray. Woo! Oh, it's just little things in life that make you happy, like screaming under a bridge. <laughs> If you told me that I would be about to jump into a hot tub on the back of a river cruiser sailing down the Thames in the middle of October, I would have told you to jog on. Right. Oh, Jay. I'm going in. Oh, I can't God. believe you're doing this after you a big go lunch. First, Jane. You go first. Oh, it's like a bath. Oh, it's red hot. It's red hot. <laughs> but you know me. I'll try anything once. <laughs> Feel these bubbles. Yeah. Oh, 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 Amazing. Really are. Hello. 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 We're causing quite a stir with the locals. Right. Hello. 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 Got married, you know when oh, she really? was staying. What, getting ready? Yeah. Oh. She's getting herself all ready for Prince Harry. Well, we're not staying in a fancy hotel tonight, but we're quite happy with our river cruiser, which will be moored up just below the Cliveden Estate. It's so quiet down here that She's we're making gorgeous, the most of the still night air. Oh, it's nearly winter. Yeah. And we're sat outside. Sorry, I know. Mm. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? It's a really relaxed mm. way of life, this, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Anything you Hot want. Hot chocolates for you? Yeah. Oh, God. twisted arrow. Oh, wow. Oh, Good man. Thank you. Thank you. I love a marshmallow. Well, it's a dessert, oh. this, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It certainly is. The question is, do you eat it or drink it? Both. Well, oh. yeah. I'm, I'm just dipping mine in. Squash them down. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Isn't it a real treat, this? Oh, absolutely. I'm so relaxed, I think I'll be asleep before my head hits the pillow. Night, all. Good night. <laughs> Sweet.
sweet dreams. It's day four, and after a peaceful night's sleep and a hearty breakfast, it's time to explore Cliveden, the National Trust estate that was once owned by the super-rich American family, the Astors. See you Hi. later. Thank you. Oh, Good hello. morning. It's a nice little welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Thank oh, you. I'm on land. Oh, I'm on Good land. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. And it's good to catch up again with our boat guide, Sarah Jane. She's going to walk us round the grounds, and as our boat is moored down at river level, the only way is up. <laughs> 172 steps. But it's fine, it's worth it when we get to the top. I don't think I was expecting that. Come on then, let's do it. <sighs> oh, I have to stop. <laughs> Just some step ball change. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop in a minute. Okay. I'm gonna have <laughs> one, here. one big buttock. Um, how are you doing, oh, ladies? Fine. Oh, yeah. We're following up at the rear. <laughs> following up at the rear. We're fine. <laughs> Did the Astors do this? They did, but you know, Queen Victoria, when she came here to visit uh, Duchess of Sutherland, she had a pushing stick. So somebody would be behind her, and it would go around her back and push her up. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah, cool. definitely. Have we got, I'll have get we Dominic got to make one. Yeah, we've got <laughs> someone who could push us up. <laughs> Shall we just carry on then? Yeah. Carry on regardless. Not many, not many okay. more to go. <laughs> Gosh, oh, my word. Oh, you're so fit. 172 steps later, <laughs> well, Sarah Jane was right. It's certainly worth it. Look at this. Oh, wow. Isn't it incredible? So it's glorious. Look at the colours. I know. America talk about the fall and we've got it. We've got it right here. Here, haven't we? That's worth that climb up there. It really is worth it. It really it? is, isn't it? Wow. And this beautiful spot is where the Astor family created their chapel of rest. Come and have a look, it's beautiful. Yeah. But numbers are really limited. Okay. Mm, thank you. you. Just two of us, yeah? Yes, yes thank you very much. much. Okay. Quite your feet. Yeah. Oh, I know. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Look at this. Fancy doing with the person that did all this, though. That is so incredibly beautiful. Mm. On our doorstep, so. I know. I know. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I know. The things that we haven't done in our lifetime, in our own country. It's ridiculous, yeah, really. It is. So this is the Octagon Temple. It was originally built as a tea room by Earl of Orkney, but then 160 years later, Lord Astor turned it into a private chapel. The mosaics took four years. It's a story of Christ and the Old Testament, and uh, it's the final resting place of the Astors here. Oh, wow. Beautiful. The Astor family owned Cliveden for nearly 50 years, and the old part of the house is still occasionally open to the public. During the 1930s, the house parties were legendary, and it wouldn't have been unusual to bump into Charlie Chaplin or playwright George Bernard Shaw on the terrace. The parties came to an abrupt ending in the 60s when married high-profile politician John Perfumo met young model Christine Keeler by the swimming pool and the scandal rocked the country. Shortly after that, the National Trust took over the estate and in 1985, part of the house was turned into a hotel where you can book afternoon tea if you are not a resident. We're not quite ready for more food yet, so we're sticking with a lovely walk around the grounds. Yeah, so this is the parterre, and it covers six acres. What's parterre? The garden term, but where they laid out in these box hedge forms in geometrical shapes. I've it's incredible. That's all. See, our old back garden used to have an old Ford Cortina in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, slightly different. <laughs> There's not an engine in sight. It's I'm just looking at the hedges. Because I've got quite a cheap edge cutter, and I'm thinking, I bet he's not using mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's yeah. a proper corner on that, isn't it? Oh, I've just got to have a feel of this edge. Just, oh, 
It's so smooth. How do they do that? That's. It looks like it's not real, doesn't it? It, it looks does. like that stuff you can buy, like fake lawn. Yeah, but it's, it's not. It's real, isn't it? That's amazing. That's Absolutely a well-trimmed bush, that. Work of art. Next. A work of art. <laughs> The estate is 376 acres, with 100 acres of formal grounds, looked after by 100 staff and 300 volunteers. This is amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Wow. I love this. Look at this. Listen to the sound, Jane. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long weaver, <laughs> isn't it? Beautiful. So they did things like... <coughs> That sound is unbelievable. So what did they use the sound for? Well, they don't know, but they presume that an orchestra or something would be in here. So it was like a sound yes, system. Yes, exactly. That's amazing. I'll have a look at the pod here. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Gosh, that's incredible. Good. That is just stunning. And the air, just smell that air. <sighs> yeah. Really oh, I've got this some money here, isn't I it? know. This balustrade here is from the Borgias villa. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brought across by Asta. I thought you said <laughs> Asta. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Asta. <laughs> the Fountain of Love is gorgeous, isn't it? Is that what it's called? The Fountain the of fountain Love? The Fountain of Love. It's the oh. Fountain of Love. That's that is really... incredible, isn't it? It is. And this is where Megan stayed here, obviously, the night before her wedding. I was doing a tour and I passed her. I was on the way out and she was on the way in. Oh, did you go higher? Yeah. There were no <laughs> cars there, though. Have a no. nice day. No cars. <laughs> All the cars were cleared. That's, a, that's amazing, though, isn't it? Did they picture the fountain, then? Did they? They did. Everybody in the world well, saw the Well, did you know, fountain. I didn't actually see whether they pictured the fountain, but I imagine they did because the water was blue when I came and had a look. And I've never seen it blue before. My <laughs> goodness. Blue. Everything for telly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can spend hours exploring the grounds, including William Astor's Japanese-inspired water garden. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it glorious? That's sensational. Look at all the colours. Oh, that's what I love about this time of year. Mm. Colours are amazing, aren't they? Red. Look at that red. Yeah, the reds and the golds and the greens and the browns. This is the, I mean, that's the beauty. You can come here at any time of You year. really can. You really can. And it'll look stunning. Like all good ideas, this garden started small with the duck pond. And then when the Oriental Pagoda landed from Paris, the whole Japanese theme really took off. In winter, the pond was used as a skating rink to entertain passing guests. My friends think they're lucky if they get a brew when they pop round. So you enjoyed Cliveden? Oh, yeah. Really loved it. Loved it. it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sarah Jane. Thank you. Oh, oh, just in time. Oh. <laughs> that was the bell to go back to the boat. <laughs> Time to bid farewell as we set sail down Cliveden Reach, known as one of the prettiest spots on the Thames. The Victorians and Edwardians had cottoned on to this stretch as well. One day in 1894, there were over a thousand boats here. Thankfully, it's a bit quieter today. Neil, can you yeah, take them? Coming up, some retail therapy on dry land. I love a shop, I love a shop, I love a shop. And the birthday celebrations continue. Surprise! Here's your chance to win £5,000 that you could use towards a magnificent cruise of your own one day. Perhaps you'd like to follow in my footsteps and explore some of the wonderful places from this series. Or maybe you'd spend it closer to home, on some renovations, or to treat yourself to something fabulous from your wish list. Whatever you'd like to use it for, £5,000 could help make that dream a reality. 
For your chance to win, text WIN to 65555. Or post your name and phone number to WIN, PO Box 7557, Derby, DE10NP. Text costs £2 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close at midday on the date shown on screen and three working days later for postal entries. For rules, go to channel5.com forward slash win. Good luck, everyone. This time, I'm sailing up the Thames in the middle of autumn to celebrate my two best friends' birthdays. We've been very lucky with the weather at this time of year, and I've even ventured out on deck without my coat. Today, we've sailed from Cliveden with our next stop at the village of Cookham, and then we're heading on to Hurley for the night. This stunning part of the river was the inspiration for the famous children's book, The Wind in the Willows, and I can see why. It's such a beautiful part of the Thames. Our holiday is all about taking your foot off the pedal and enjoying the slow pace of life, leaving someone else to do all the cooking, cleaning and housekeeping. It's only a short sail from Cliveden to Cookham, and as the river is deep enough here, the boat can moor up right next to the shore. Oh, thanks, I'll see you later. ta -ra. hello again. That's my kind of hassle-free travelling. Right. Cookham is a classic historic village, perched on the side of the Thames with a high street that's full of shops. It was also home to the late British artist Stanley Spencer, and there is a gallery dedicated to him at the top of the high street. There we go, so welcome to the village of Cookham. Thank you. Welcome in Stanley Spencer Gallery. If you want to have a wander around, I'll wait for you outside. OK. okay. Thank you. Right, let's do this then. It's run by a group of volunteers who charge a small entrance fee, and we were told by the crew it's worth a look. Hello, welcome to the Stanley Spencer Gallery. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Stanley Spencer, can you tell us a bit about him? He was born in Cookham in 1891. He went to the Slade School of Art and studied with other very famous artists. What's this painting here? Because it's not finished, um, is it? It isn't. Unfortunately, Stanley died before he could complete it, and it's um, Christ preaching at Cookham Regatta. Wow! Um, so basically, it's the Cookham Regatta as it was in the 50s, but in the centre you've got the figure of Christ and the disciples. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that so was yeah, put that's Cookham what he into did. everything. He yeah. did, and he, he did a lot of his religious art, resurrection at Cookham through the churchyard, and if you've been there. Yeah. So Cookham was his main inspiration, really. Was he married? He was married twice, actually. Is that's that a self-portrait of Hilda Carline, his first wife. Oh, that's... And she was an artist and second to a lady called Patricia Priest. Uh, but that Patri didn't last that's... very long, the marriage. It Did didn't it not? actually... The wedding night, they, they didn't actually spend together and um, they never lived together. That's Patricia. It's Patricia Priest, who was an artist, but her partner, Dorothy Hepworth, was a more accomplished artist. So a partner, Dorothy? Yeah. I sort of get now why. Yeah. The relationship probably didn't work. I said it was a doomed marriage. Patricia wanted certain things out of the marriage and Stanley wanted other things and they, the two didn't meet. So it wasn't a true marriage. Oh dear. Really, but Maybe was... they should have had a chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, yeah. He sounds eccentric. Yeah, they're quite colourful, I guess. There's lots of stories of him getting dressed by just putting his suit over his pyjamas. Everything was about the art, so he'd just go out as he was. Didn't particularly want to eat. He lived on jam sandwiches most of the time. Oh. Um, so <laughs> it was eccentric, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the chaotic love life, his art was extremely successful, and collectors now pay millions for his work. Thank you so much for explaining everything. That's all right, you're welcome. And, uh, and we'll go off and have a look. Enjoy the rest of Cookham, it's a lovely day. Thank lovely you. Lovely meeting you all. And you too. All right, thanks ever so Bye. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. And artistic talents seem to run through the whole village. Oh, wow, look at these. Oh. 
gorgeous. Oh, I love how they've done this and that. Jane yeah. McDonald. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are these for me? They're so fabulous for me. Oh, they are for you. Bless you, darling. They are for you, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so, how are you? so very well. What Good. a beautiful Welcome to place. Cookham. And I'm loving your work here. Oh, thanks. I did that this morning. Didn't you, darling? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm covered in glitter. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> is that just not normal? That's a normal thing for me. Every, every day is a glitter day. <laughs> every day is a glitter day. I love that. It is. Anyway, I it's so love lovely that. to meet you. Too. Have a fabulous day. I will, nice and thank you. you. Not at all, not at all. Take all care. All the best. Mwah. Have a lovely day. Bye. What friendly folk round here. Cookham High Street is full of independently owned shops, and I'm only too happy to support them. Hang on a minute. Oh. Can someone, Neil, can you yeah, take them? Pleasure. First rule of shopping club, blokes stay outside. Can I go in? I'm going in. Please use the other door. <laughs> Clothes shop. No, what a lovely shop. Oh, well, do you want to have a little look round? And Could we? Little... Yes, have a look round, and if there's anything that you fancy, then we can, you know. That's lovely. Did I see nightwear in there? You did, <gasps> you did. So I'll have to get something quite salubrious, cos I'm away such a lot, I like to give my old man a bit of a treat now and again. <laughs> Only now and again, yeah, obviously. No, we, we, we do that quite often. For yeah, our ladies. that's <laughs> great. Next door, we've got swimwear and we've got nightwear. Oh, for perfect. I love a shop, I love a shop, I love a shop. Look at that one. Yeah. yeah. You're respectable in that. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. Not too heavy. Yeah. Yes, that'll do. Practicality wins over sexy every time. Dress boutiques have been in Vicky's family for generations. Her mother had a shop and her mother before her. Is this your mother here? It is my mother, yep. Oh, she looks quite formidable there. Yes, she was. <laughs> That's why we have her here, to keep an eye on us. That's <laughs> a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. She looks great. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Right, where are we? Are gonna I, for one, am doing all I can to support our high street. I see it as a community service yeah. to keep shopping and carry on. Well, thank you very, very Not much. Not at all. Well, it's really super to see you. Enjoy the rest of the trip. I will. I Lovely. will. Lovely. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank bye. you for your time. Not at all. Lovely to see you. And you too. All the best. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh sweet old. I know. Yeah. I'm happy though. I've got a bag. Yeah. We've got a bag. It's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> We're heading upstream to Hurley, and tonight's our final night on the river cruiser. thinking behind this trip has been to celebrate the girl's birthday. So this evening, I've planned a surprise. I've known Sue and Alwyn for more years than I can count. They've always been such good friends, and I want their 70th birthday to be one to remember. Put a bit of uh, snap on. Every little helps. No idea that this is going on. Okay. Yeah, thank you very right. much. Yes, fantastic. Oh, hang on, a bit of rubbish. We've got wigs and everything. It's <laughs> exciting, isn't it? I love a party. Yeah. I can't wait to see the faces. Where's the prezzies? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did say I thought there's something. There's something dodgy yeah. going on here. <laughs> She's been trying to back home my hair all day. <laughs> oh dear. I've picked a 70s theme tonight, which isn't strictly the decade they were born, but who's counting? We are allowed to put our wigs on now if we can get into the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so why I think they look great. I think about you. are you used to it, <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah. You look like a devil, sister. Yeah. They're all dead. <laughs> Time to fill our glasses once again and get stuck into the party atmosphere. 
Our captain, Dominic, is joining us with his son, Oliver, and it's good to see them having a night off and letting their hair down. <laughs> Wigs off and it's cake time. As with all these candles, we could be a fire hazard. Oh, <laughs> Actually, that's therapeutic, isn't it? I discover that I'm actually quite good with wood. Quite like doing this. You still have time to enter for your chance to win £5,000, which could see you setting sail to your dream destination one day. Or you could treat yourself to something exciting from your bucket list. To be in for your chance to win £5,000, text WIN to 65555 or post your name and phone number to win P.O. Box 7557, Derby, DE10NP. For rules, go to channel5.com forward slash win. Good luck, everyone. It's the last day of cruising on our private river cruiser holiday up the Thames. We have one more trip to make before we head upstream to our final stop in Henley. The crew have recommended we visit a local boatyard that's been in the same family for over 300 years. Thank you, my love. I always feel so special when you do that. Thank you. Umbrella holder and skipper Oliver has been coming to this boatyard since he was a boy and he says we're in for a treat. It's just a short walk from our river cruiser, and on a rainy day like today, I'm just glad that it's all under cover. The late Peter Freebody took over the boat building business from his grandfather in 1933, and now his son Richard is in charge. Ah. Hi, Dominic. Hi, guys. Hello. Yeah, welcome to the boatyard. Yeah. Good to see you. you. Let me show you into the, the boatyard and what we do. Fantastic. It is fascinating to walk through these old sheds and see master craftsmen working on boat projects that can sometimes take years to complete. Oh, look at this. So, guys, this is where, where it all goes on. So this is a lovely cruiser from the 1930s that we're completely rebuilding for a, a couple that uh, have another boat with us. This, this is a lovely little thing. So this is a little Thames dinghy that my, my father built uh, for a customer. And it was actually for the customer to give his 16-year-old daughter a birthday present. Oh, and, wow. Um, They've got so money he... round here, then, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, I only got a watch. <laughs> Behind us here, we've got a lovely Venetian water taxi. <gasps> um, Look uh, at that. So that's, that's got the, the glitz and the glamour attached to it. It's but, very um, George Clooney, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just need a, an espresso on there and uh, you'll be away. <laughs> So, Jane, we're going to get you on the tools now. Oh, so right. So, this is, this is the flagstaff for this Venetian water taxi. So, using the block plane, you're literally just taking some shavings off and rotating your hand like that. Yeah, are you so sure? You, you'd like to have a go and are you sure? we'll see if we can uh, make a boat builder out of you. Right, because you've been here 300 years, don't forget. I've been here three minutes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look! I'm on a plane. That's it. Quite like doing this. Oh, that's quite. Actually, that's therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You're it creating is. something. So, what is this? That it, um, what am I doing? I'm. So you're, you're shaving the flagpole. Yeah. Um. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm shaving uh. the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm obviously a natural. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It'll be a toothpick by the time I'm finished. This is where the finished article oh. is. So these are oh, the slipper launches that we're, we're famous for building, and they're basically designed for lovely, glamorous jaunts on the Thames. Just with a so glass of something. So that's really for me, isn't it? Right Just up your street, Jane, glamorous. I think. Glamorous. Yeah, perfect. They're, they're getting quite, quite elaborate now and quite high-tech. This, this is an electric version, so we're obviously into the age of, of oh, uh, electric wow, propulsion. Yeah. So, uh, so with that, it's really, really quiet. 
super quiet. Um, you get really, really close to nature and the kingfishers and the swans. How, how much would one of these be? Uh, they start at around 180,000 plus VAT. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll have two, please. I love how you've got... Oh, this has been 300 years and now this is the future. Absolutely, yeah, I think it's very, very important to always embrace the future, but, but obviously keep it keep very much in, in keeping with tradition. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. All Thanks the very, very best. Beautiful craftsmanship and perfect for a summer jaunt, but in autumn, they're all under wraps, a bit like us. It's our last lunch, so we're all up on deck as we set sail towards Henley-on-Thames, famous for the annual rowing regatta. You can spot rowers all year round, and like us, I think they might have the thermals on today. And nothing warms your cockles more than a piping hot dinner, and today it's our special request, roast pork. Look at that. I'm glad we didn't have duck. So is that one. So are they. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's all right. We're having pork today, dear. Oh, look at that. Oh. oh. Beautiful. I've been fancying pork since we went to Hampton Court, have you? Well, yeah, and the crackling and, and, and lots of meat. It was about what they were talking about, how much mm. meat they used to eat in those days. Yeah. Yeah. What a perfect end to our cruising holiday. Thank you for coming and thank you for letting me be in your birthday because I've had the best birthday ever and it's not even been mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to 70. Thank you. Next time. Cheers to 70. Next Cheers time. Next time. Mm. Our trip started just over 40 miles away in London and we've cruised past fabulous countryside and some of England's finest heritage. Ending up in Henley on Thames in Oxfordshire. Oh, oh! I'm just, I don't want to leave. Yeah, Thank it's you. It's been such a good one. Thank you. Thanks. I feel like we're all family. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure. You're just amazing. You. Goodbye, crew, and goodbye, Thames. My eyes have been opened to yet another stunning part of my home country. All right. Toodaloo. Bye. 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 <laughs> Dirty old river, must you keep rolling, flowing into the night? People so big. Fear can be fuel. 
Let your fear drive you to be bigger, louder. The sky itself will not limit you. Yes, don't miss Channel 5's brand new original drama Anne Boleyn starting Tuesday at 9. Next, Gibraltar, Brits in the Sun.